All right, let me see if I can get this done before the rain hits me. Um, I'm out here on the range working on different drills, just really getting back up to speed on the AR-15 because I've not really handled the AR for quite some time. I've been focusing so much on handgun because handgun is infinitely more difficult to, I don't even want to say master because I don't even really think you fully master the handgun. I think you just get to a level of proficiency where you're, you're comfortable. But uh, the AR-15 luckily is a relatively simple weapon to become proficient on because of the multiple points of contact. So basically the drill that I like to run, I'll just run it on this guy right here in front of me, is and then transition to the handgun. And all I'm doing is just practicing transitions. Oh, I love shooting my 17. with your range buddy eventually what happens is you'll get to the point where you will run your weapon dry and if you're properly distracted like I was right there you should get caught you should get caught in a position where you're no longer counting rounds and you're able to be caught on surprise by that weapon running empty you're able to do a fast mag reload like I did just there and guys let me promise you it's been a while since I have really worked hard with an AR-15. So what you just saw there is uh, a level of automaticity that I've worked just into my, uh, into my memory banks of how to handle an AR-15. When it comes to the handgun, man, that level of automaticity is really hard to, to gain a level of proficiency on where it's just sort of ingrained in you. But the AR-15 is a lot easier, but even still, you want to work these drills whenever possible. Now the cool thing is, from where I am right now, I can work a very simple variation. We'll do it with three. This goes back in the mag holder. This goes into the weapon. Now there's one in the chamber. When your long gun runs dry, what should you do? Transition to your handgun, right? You shouldn't try to fix this problem here. Let's make believe that I've got a, a barrier in front of me and I'm working this guy around the barrier. So I come out and I go, and, I get, and the weapon goes dry. He's still a threat. I release the weapon, pull my handgun. When the threat has somewhat gone away, I holster my handgun. I, I go back to cover, mag out, mag in, weapon back up again. Scan for further threats if there are some. Give them some. And then go back to cover. But the point is, don't stand there and try to fix the problem with your long gun. Go to cover, get the weapon back up again, and then come back out if you need to. The, honestly, the easiest way to work this drill is to just have a few rounds in your pocket. And what you do is you just reach in your pocket, feed a couple rounds to the mag, stick it in your long gun, work the drill again. And you know, even if you want to just work loading drills where you're just like standing static, fine. Work your loading drills. From here you can take a knee, find your mag, bring it back up again, practice the tack swap. There's so many different things you can do with just some very simple variations on, you know, on handling the AR-15. I'm finding based on emails and comments here on YouTube that what is what has occurred in our industry what seems to have occurred in our industry is there is there's been a massive exodus of knowledge and there's this huge deficit in things that people know, I'm sorry, in, in, there's a huge deficit in things that people should know versus what they actually know. What, what I'm seeing now, <clears throat> what I'm seeing now is people think they know something. And whenever we think we know something, we become very dangerous. So right now, a lot of the commentary that I'm getting from people tells me that people think they actually know something, but they don't. 
very recently I chose to go ahead and demonetize this channel for a reason and I'm probably going to do a video specifically on this. Um, I was watching advertisements coming across my channel that I disagreed with. My wife, who is a subscriber to my channel, said, honey, they're advertising things on your videos that you would not agree with. And I went ahead and I said, okay, then I'm, gonna t I'm just going to demonetize the channel. I closed my AdSense account. Now, some of you are thinking, well, that's just dumb. You're not making any more money. Guys, I never was making money off of this channel. I chose to make this channel a ministry a long time ago. I have gone back to those roots even more so, and I'm definitely choosing to make this channel a ministry. I'm here to spread knowledge for you guys because clearly knowledge has exited this industry. Guys, there is such a huge lack of knowledge in the firearms industry right now. It is startling me, and, um, and that's got to be fixed. So uh, I hope that this video helps you guys out. If you have any comments, leave them below. As always, I thank you guys for watching. God bless you all. Get those guns out and practice. Have a good one.